What's up guys, happy new year. I hope you're having a wonderful start to 2020 and that you're excited about loading up on some fresh, healthy groceries to help start the year right. I know that a lot of times you get really excited and you go to the grocery store and you see so many things that you want and then you come home and you're like, I have no idea what to do with this. And this is why I make these videos because I've been there so many times. It's like, oh, mushrooms are on sale. I like mushrooms. And then I get home and I'm like, what do I do with mushrooms? I, I can't think of a single thing. So hopefully this video will help you guys get some good ideas and inspiration for healthy groceries. Before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like what I eat in a day videos, vegan recipe ideas, and lifestyle vlogs. I have tons of those on my channel and more to come in 2020. So go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy grocery hauls, and let's get started. All right, so starting with frozen veggies, I pretty much always pick up a bag of frozen peas when I'm at the grocery store. I love stirring these into soups and dolls and even pastas. It's a great way to add in some veg and they add a little bit of sweetness, which I like as well. I also picked up two bags of cauliflower rice because I put this in absolutely everything, including my tofu scramble recipe, and it's so good. You're gonna see that video coming up really soon. It's gonna be a high protein vegan meals, so stay tuned for that. But I thought I would show you something that I like to do with peas. Oh, those stuffed sweet potatoes are so good. I'm so excited for you to try it. Make sure you check out the description box below for that recipe and all of the recipes that you will see in this video. I also picked up some chopped spinach. This is great for smoothies, especially if you're someone who finds that you don't go through fresh spinach fast enough and it gets all wilted and kind of mushy. I like to load up my freezer with some frozen. Also in my freezer, I've got a little bit of my favorite whipped cream at the moment. This is just something that I like to have on hand, whether I am gonna put this on ice cream or on a fruit crumble, which I have a really easy recipe for a fruit crumble that I will put in the description box below. It's also something that I like to put on my chocolate pie recipe and my chocolate pie recipe is so easy and I really think that because it is so dark and like rich and fudgy chocolate it really benefits from having a little bit of whipped cream it's just a nice contrast and the flavors are so so good and really I don't think anyone who tried this chocolate pie would know that it was vegan so this is one to try if you haven't already next I picked up a bag of these savory stuffed turkeys from Gardein all vegan turkey of course with stuffing in the middle and it comes with gravy this is something that i had around thanksgiving time and really liked it. it happened to be on sale so i figured i would keep it in my freezer in case i had you know my sister come over for dinner and i wanted to do you know kind of a fancier more hearty dinner one night I also picked up some vegan pesto. This is so versatile. I love to have this with potato wedges. I'll stir it through pasta or quinoa. It's really, really good to have on hand and the Trader Joe's one is pretty nice. I also got some applesauce. This is something that I snack on sometimes when I just want a little something sweet. Sometimes I will mix it with vegan yogurt and put granola on top or I will stir this into my oatmeal in the morning and it makes a great egg substitute whenever you're baking vegan treats as well. This is a almond milk yogurt that I have been loving recently. It's a little bit cheaper than some of the other varieties and it's an unsweetened vegan yogurt that I just think is really delicious. A lot of times I will put vegan yogurt on top of my oats because it kind of has like a berries and cream effect, but I will also make kind of like granola bowls. This is a recipe from last year, which is my dark chocolate sea salt tahini granola it is so good that is in the description box below and a lot of times i'll just do a little bit of plain vegan yogurt with some warm berries that have been mixed with a little bit of maple syrup and then i will put the granola on top and this is it feels like a treat it really does feel like a dessert it's so good also got some hummus i 
always have hummus on hand. It is one of my favorite foods ever. This is one of my favorite soy milks. You've probably seen it a lot if you have watched other grocery hauls. It's just really thick and creamy and it has super clean ingredients. It's just soybeans and water. I also picked up two different kinds of tofu. I like to use organic tofu whenever possible and I picked up firm and then I also picked up a softer one. The softer one is the one that I like to use for tofu scramble. It has more of a kind of like scrambled egg consistency in my opinion, but the firm tofu is the one that I like whenever I'm doing like a tofu bowl and this maple mustard miso tofu is one of my faves. Now you may have noticed that I went to a couple different grocery stores here and I actually picked up the exact same salsas, both organic, both thick and chunky from two different stores without realizing it. This is one why I need to consult my list and two why maybe I should try new things because apparently I am definitely a creature of habit. Comment below if you can relate. Also got some veggie broth. This is great obviously for making soups, but if you don't use this when you're making your quinoa or rice, it's a really great hack because you can add a lot of flavor just by using this instead of water or half vegetable broth and half water with some seasoning. So good. Then I picked up, you guys, this is my favorite food in the world. Organic quick cooking oats. I could eat them every day. I could eat oats three times a day and not get sick of it I know some of you are like what the heck and then some of you can relate But I also use oatmeal for more than just actual oatmeal I like to make oat flour out of oats So a lot of times I will go ahead and make something like pancakes and these pancake muffins are So good, especially if you guys really hate flipping pancakes or you have trouble with it Sometimes, you know, you're the last one eating when you're making pancakes because you're flipping them and everyone else is eating the ones you've already made and if you make these pancake muffins they all cook at the same time in the oven they're all ready at the same time which means everyone eats at the same time and they're really meal prep friendly as well so they make a great little snack when you are busy and on the go then Thrive Market was really kind and sent me kind of like a little Christmas New Year's box and it had this organic wine inside. It is from Spain. I have not tried it, but I'm so excited to. It looks so good and red wine is a really cozy treat this time of year. So I will definitely be having this at some point. Make sure you're following me on Instagram for updates. Next, I picked up some great northern beans. These are really nice. They're very similar to cannellini beans, and I often will get cannellini beans and garbanzo beans and black beans. I think that it's a really healthy thing to do to kind of diversify the types of plant foods that you're eating, especially when it comes to beans. And I love to make all different kinds of foods with beans, especially hummus, and especially a vegan version of tuna like this tuna milk. Then I got a couple of cans of coconut milk. This is a staple in my cupboard for sure because I use this for all different kinds of soups and dolls and curries, but I also use it to make my favorite chocolate frosting and it is so easy and so versatile.
Moving on to some fresh ingredients, and I didn't get a lot because I'm planning on going to the farmer's market soon, but here I got some mint. This is for a recipe that I'm working on. I also picked up some lemons. Always have lemons on hand, mostly because I use them when I make hummus. And then I picked up my favorite vegetable at the moment, which is a delicata squash. If you don't think you like squash, you have to try this one in particular. It is so delicious, especially if you just roast it simply with a bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and a little bit of maple syrup. I like to do cayenne as well, but you kind of just sprinkle everything on top, toss it around, roast it until it's nice and caramelized. And I've made this for a lot of friends and family and everybody really seems to like it as well. It is so delicious. Next, I picked up some baby organic zucchini. I love zucchini in all kinds of vegetable pastas and also just as a side dish, a lot of times I'll saute zucchini with mushrooms, but I also really like it in my smoothies. And then I picked up a little bit of parsley. Parsley is one of those things that I love to have on hand. I'll keep it in a water glass so that it stays nice and fresh and I just have it out on the counter so it looks pretty as well. But it's one of those things you just add to any dish and it really elevates whatever it is you're making. Then I did go ahead and get some baby spinach. I like to have fresh greens on hand whenever I can, but I do have to buy the smaller packs. Otherwise I will just, I'll never go through it and I hate food waste. So I got a small pack of that as well as this fettuccine. It is made from black beans and sesame and I'm really excited to try it. It looks a little intimidating to be honest with you, but it's packed with protein and I'm excited to give that one a go. Then another thing that was in my Thrive box was this fruit spread. And I love organic fruit spreads for things like oatmeal, like I showed you earlier when I do PB&J oats, but also just on a good piece of sourdough with a little bit of vegan butter and some fruit spread, cup of coffee, cup of tea. Oh, I'm a happy girl when that's the case. So I was really excited to see this. So almost every single day for breakfast, my grandma had the exact same breakfast and that was two pieces of toast. And on one of the pieces of toast, it was a layer of cream cheese and then a layer of jam. And now I still do that every once in a while as kind of a comfort food, nostalgic breakfast. I like to do it with vegan cream cheese. I love the Tofuti brand and the Kite Hill brand. And I will do that on a vegan English muffin with some fruit spread. And that is also a great combo. So try that if you haven't. Thrive also sent me this avocado oil spray and I've tried a lot of spray oils and I have to say this particular bottle has a really, really good nozzle on it so you get a really even thin coating. So if you're someone who doesn't like to use a ton of oil but you wanna just have kind of a nice little layer to help all the seasoning stick and to help promote some caramelization when your veggies are in the oven, this is a great item. I was actually really surprised. Then they also sent me this pumpkin bread and muffin mix and it's made with almond flour. I'm really excited to try it. I usually don't make like grain free type of baked goods. If anything, I'm a little intimidated, so I'm excited to try this mix. These are so up my alley though. Any and like I usually have nuts as a snack, so having sriracha cashews on hand is something I am really looking forward to, especially since I usually have that snack with a cup of tea and they did go ahead and send me an organic peppermint tea which I have tried since filming this video and I can tell you it's really good and then the last thing that I got are some chocolate truffles these are all vegan they're organic and I just think the packaging is so pretty I'm saving them for the next girls night that I have and I can't wait I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up because that really helps out my channel and go ahead and share this video with a friend maybe someone who's doing veganuary or someone who kind of struggles with cooking more at home hopefully this will help give them some good ideas if you want to share some of your favorite grocery staples in the comments below I would love that I love learning about how you guys grocery shop and what kinds of foods you gravitate towards the more I know about you the more I can make helpful video content and that is what I love to do so I hope you guys have a great day subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye!